We also salute uh, Miss Junie DeShalto, deceased, who boldly came forward uh, to contest the seat, again on the Progressive Labor Movement ticket, uh, in the St. Philip's North constituency. There was also Miss Mabel Lake, who is also deceased. We also um, salute Catherine Edwards. We salute other women in politics, such as Dame Bridget Harris, uh, the former Speaker of the House, as well as um, uh, Senator, um, um, it's slipping me right now. Um, no, 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 which is great. Millicent Percival, I'm so sorry. It just slipped me for a moment, who was a former president of, of the Senate. Um, and certainly our very own president of the Senate, uh, Senator Hazelyn Mason Francis, our very own D. Giselle Isaac Arundel, our current Speaker of the House, and, the governor and, and our Governor the General. general. And as, as, as Malika would have said, we are witnessing in Antigua and Barbuda a party uh, headed by a very progressive-minded leader, the Honorable Baldwin Spencer, who gave a commitment to uh, Antigua and Barbuda that the promotion and elevation of women in Antigua and Barbuda was certainly uh, one of his priorities. And when we look at how women across the broad spectrum have been elevated in Antigua and Barbuda, we are living testament yes. to, to, to that sort of uh, philosophy, that promise, that undertaking um, being borne out so that, as you said earlier, the young girls in Antigua and Barbuda can say, I want to be a politician mm -hmm. and it is possible. Mm -hmm. You know, politics is about the realization of, um, of aspirations. It is about ensuring that our um, tenure in office is such that we make our country and its people better off, better positioned to take advantage of opportunities that arise, whether nationally, regionally, or internationally. internationally. And I'm sure um, 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 Senator Parker will expound on it uh, as well, and I'll give her an opportunity to do so. Uh, we don't want to come here to give the impression that politics is easy. It is not easy. There are a lot of sacrifices that women are called upon to make. I say even more so than our male counterparts yes. uh, because of how we have been socialized historically, how our culture has ingrained in the society and has tried to define our role, so to speak, so that it is the ultimate balancing act, balancing work responsibility, balancing constituency responsibility, and at the same time ensuring that your balancing act is such that you're able to keep your families intact. And that is no easy feat. I can imagine it's not an easy feat at all because I've actually thought once or twice about you know, getting into politics because people tend to say, you know what, you have a good spirit, you have a good attitude, you, you're always willing, but you know, it, it really was a kind of scary thought yes. because just like you guys said, they've made it seem as if, you know what, it's so rootless yes. that coming to your, your skeletons that you probably did when you were a baby would have come out of the closet and yes. it would be a big issue and you would be terrorized and you would be harassed and you would be embarrassed. And, you know, to actually listen to you ladies this morning, it's actually putting me in a thought process. <laughs> so that look on my face is actually putting on my thinking cap. So you because, may very well enter the political yes, arena. <laughs> I may excellent, very well. Excellent, excellent. I may very well enter because we need a lot more young women yes. going forward. Yes. Because, like you so rightfully say, I, I, I mean, I don't know if you girls watch, you ladies watch Scandal. But if you watch Scandal, you realize that the mastermind behind the president in the series Scandal is really the wife. Okay. You know, and she's I'm always pushing him. <laughs> That's one of my one of my favorites. Okay. And she's always pushing him, you know, and telling him, look, get it together. You could do this. Yes. And you know, it really takes me back to that when I watch it.